Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm very happy to show you uh, Sogetsu demonstration. Sogetsu Ikebana demonstration. My first one is basic uh, upright moribana using shallow container is Kenzan and put the Kenzan instead of center we put the one two three four corner number one corner I'm doing for you uh, using umbrella plant this is umbrella plants you can change hundreds different way uh, number one you can cut all like this And make a smaller size uh, umbrella plants instead of large and big. Or you can cut, uh, uh, we, uh, you can tie uh, leaves for three, dividing for three group. One, Okay, so you can tie like this and dividing for another group here and another group here and the center you can see a little tiny one those are kind of uh, very fine so you can just braid it after you tie uh, three sides with just like this then you can Braid center one. Then bring this one in the loops like this. So those are all the tied, ne? And you can make loops like this. Then tie it with. The, see, this is loops. You can tie it with flax leaves, like this. You can tie it. Uh, this is not finished, but you can tie it. supposed to be tied this one but I'm not uh, uh, wasting time so you can tie all three sides and you can create something like this then then I can I know make design all doing like this then like this or like this then I will make design basic design and first you find the long one then you measure depth of the container depth plus diameter from here to there container size then you can add two times that's a large arrangement for this container two times the uh, container size then second main stem is three quarter of the half and another half so three quarter of the shin and the flower is half of the uh, second main stem So 
large, medium, and small. This is a little bit too, uh, you know, long, so I'll just take off that one. Just a little bit, but is okay, maybe here. So this one is long, medium, and short. Then first main stem is going here, 10 to 15 degree towards your left shoulder. And second main stem is 45 degree towards your left shoulder. And third main stem is 75 degree towards your right shoulder. Shin, Soe, Hikae, and making large triangle. Then you can have another flower for the focal flower, most beautiful opened flower. You can put in front of you here. And shorter than I'm adding for this front and facing toward the sun, toward the sun. And long, medium, and short one coming here, and this one facing towards you. So they can talk each other. This one going up, this one going up, this one going down. So three, three of them together and talking each other. Then you can add subordinating stem in the back. Give the depth for first main stem. You can put the in the back. So give a little bit depth. Then you can put the, uh, another one, short one. Putting using as a pillar, then I can put another one, maybe a little bit to uh, So if you broken, you can just take off. You can use something like this. Okay. Now I'll add a little bit more filler, different color, uh, trying to be filler using uh, aster Fill up a little bit more for this side as a filler, and even filler you can make uh, some are tall, some are short, medium, and some are short. So up and down, then up and down, uh, you can uh, create uh, height, different height, not all the same height, and not all that. Okay, this is my first arrangement. Shin soe hikae. Uh, basic arrangement. Okay. You can see from this side, or you can see from this side. Okay. Okay. Next one is nage ire. Nage ire, we use tall container and some are branch, branch, 
branch material, very strong branch material. And when you're using like this, try to be up, flower the end going up towards the sun, not the coming down like this. Né? So you can bring up like this. And this is good, this one for going this way. So I will do slanting style, 45 degree design. And maybe I can use two of this one instead of one. This one, this is kind of all same height. So maybe I will take off this one and uh, I'll put like this 45 degree. And measurement is depth of the container plus diameter plus same as here to there like this and also you have to add going inside extra going inside so extra like this then how do you stop this one it's very difficult like this see I know not the right position so you can for putting like this upright I'll just bring this one and cut flat, flat, flat here. Then cut half, cut half like this. Then you need soegi, which goes inside same height of the container. Little bit shorter than that, maybe. Then you put together this, like crossbar, like. Then you can put inside that way stays 45 degree. Could I have water? Over there, picture. Then, uh, I try to do second main stem is, uh, second main stem is, this is 45, and second main stem is 15 degree. And three quarter of the first one. Okay, I did that. Stop. Hi, very much. Okay, so this is the first main stem, and this is the second main stem. 45 and 15 degree. Then the other main stem is half of this and goes inside of this one and try to bend. If you bend, you can bring more 75 degree. If you don't, it will be like stand up like this, 45 degree. For becoming like this, really have to bend this much and leaves uh, not really pretty condition so I'll just take off and this one 75 degree then I need subordinating stem in the back there is nice depth Try to bend, bend and bend, and you can bring it back. There is nice depth in the back. Okay. Then you can put the focal flower in the center. Then long, medium, and short one goes in the back. And always cut the edge of the container. 
So it's uh, together uh, flower and shin soe hikae. That's a nage ire style design. Okay, so this is a uh, slanting style nage ire design. Those container has uh, some interesting greenish and orange and yellow or blue. So I try to uh, and also loops. I can use some bamboo. I made this one with this color of the container and some kind of loops, emphasizing loops. And uh, this is bamboo triangle I tied and made it and bamboo ring, slice of the bamboo and tying one by one like see this one is bamboo rings and you can tie it. This is already some, some are very small, little skinny one and some are medium, some are large so you can tie it one by one like this and making it bigger or smaller or this way and that way you can make a shape Any kind of shape you can put in here, you can tie it in here. And after you made some design, you can I know put to Those things in here, you can tie it, tie it, and make some design. I already tied here and there and there, so I try to put this in the container. You can put the container like this, then uh, bringing up color of the container. Then also, I'm using uh, Solidamo. Kind of nice color together. Then I'll put the flower. Also kind of nice soft color bringing up from the container. Perfect. I ground it, break it, so you can just put in here. <laughs> then I can just put a little bit darker color. Hi, 
I pity them. This is my bamboo uh, and color, color, bringing up color from a uh, container. Yeah, or you can do it from this angle. You can enjoy from different angles. Okay, all right. Yeah, very heavy, huh? <laughs> Next one is using bamboo or oh, bamboo you need a lot of uh, saw and drill and hammer and uh, something to stand so first see uh, how to open this one you can cut the uh, You can cut where you want it to open. You cut the uh, okay. You cut the same side here and there, same size. Then you can hammer at this one. So you can open the space like this and you can just hammer a little bit more and you can open. So very, seems like very difficult but very easy to break. Then after that, you can make something like something flat, flat, any kind of uh, wood piece is okay. And I drew it, drew and drew a little bit. This is white brush and nail it. Then you can stand up like this. Then put this one, this one, like this, so it will stay straight. Then you can open here and you can make arrangement here and there. So I already uh, made it this one. And uh, these are, you can, I uh, know, see like this, uh, piece of bamboo. You can just uh, bend it and hang it, put in here. And sometimes you can put uh, some little flower in here, so cute. But today, I try to make some arrangement uh, in the open space in here with uh, a pedestal leaves. You can to is you can do like this, or you know like a natural way, so beautiful and elegant, or you can twist, twist, and you can create something like this. And there is a nice depth instead of flat. Uh, you can sew it with wire here going like this, then it will stop. Or you can even tearing this like this. Make it very lacy and beautiful uh, movement also. So this leaves also, just like flax leaves, you can do a lot of things. And now I'll just put the, this one in here
kind of green. beautiful flower in there. Okay, that's my third arrangement with bamboo and lily and aspidestra lilies and honey. Then you can put some little flower in here or some green makes it maybe sometimes very unique. Okay, okay. Next one is uh, I'm trying to uh, make uh, Japanese Halloween kind of feeling and uh, I was going to separate and put together, but uh, it takes a little bit long time, so I'm just using it just like that. So I'm not going to uh, take out and put together again. Just I'll use as is like this. Bamboo. I just put, put this one. Push inside like this. See inside. Push inside. Almost you can put any place or here or that way. Kind of quite large, you know? Large design, isn't it? Very nice uh, colored pumpkin. So I will use some pandorangia. Uh, I'm using it. And of course I'll put water in here. So flower gets water. Then I can put the beautiful uh, rose and also solidago as a filler. So you can fill it up. Uh, All kind of flower I'm mixing for this arrangement. I try to not hide the uh, pumpkin in the center. This is almost like a bird is resting, sleeping mm -hmm. <laughs> in the bird nest, no? Okay. 
Maybe some orange will be very cheerful and Halloween feeling. Picking up Yellow, bright color, is just adding. Thank you very much. So this is jumping out. Okay, this is my Halloween arrangement. You can just be on this angle. So this angle. And see how that comes. No, almost. I wanted to show this uh, pumpkin. So I try to be more low. It's better like that. It's a little bit too high, but it's okay, I guess. Okay, so this is by. My last one, Kashirane. My last one. I made my special basket with Chinese elm. This is the branch I'm using. Take off those long branch and also you take off leaves. And use this branch. And first you can make loops with stem. You can make loops. And tie it with wire. I tie it, tie it with wire, so it makes loops. Then I put the six another wire, wire and tie it, dividing for one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I tied uh, those uh, branches and make it longer and longer. Then you can just look, uh, tie around uh, like uh, this and tie this. Just keep tying and making uh, bigger and bigger. See, I started to, uh, here and keep adding like this and tying it. 
if you bring inside of the wire becoming smaller and smaller and if you bring outside of the uh, outside of the wire tying like this bring this sideways like this this way and like this well, inside when you make it smaller just tie it inside like this so you can adjust going here and there that's what I did in here start it from here then you can bring outside and inside and outside uh, inside so you can really make any kind of shape create a basket and you depend on the container you can use something like this or today I'm using this unique container so you can uh, put some kind of getting wider you can just put this stuff getting so it will stay Then for secure, you can put uh, some kind of wire or something, you can push inside and secure, or you can put some flower or anything. But today I'll put this one so uh, material will support. This is bromelia. That will support the secure already. Then uh, I'll have a little bit movement going. And solidable. Beautiful purple, uh, this young sass. Peachy pink, this um, one This is my last one, and uh, for doing uh, Zoom or video, it uh, really uh, took a long time with uh, Grace and uh, my sister Yoshiko and Sue's help, and uh, I'm so glad, I hope we did a good job for doing this uh, demonstration. Thank you very much, everybody.